Hi, thanks for joining me. My name is Daniel and what I'm going to demonstrate in this tutorial is how to use Zen Studio to create applications with Zen Developer Cloud. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to create a new Zen Developer Cloud project in your workspace, connect it to the container's MySQL database, and validate this connectivity by simulating interaction between your application and the database. To follow the steps in this tutorial, you'll need a Zen Studio 903 and a Zen Developer Cloud account. Let's begin with creating our new project. If you have it open, you can do this from the welcome screen. If not, just go to the menu bar and select File, New, PHP Project from Zen Developer Cloud. The new project wizard appears. I'm going to name our new project. Leave the default location settings, and we can see that my predefined Zen Developer Cloud target is already selected in the container field. All we have to do now is click Create New Application. The new application is created and deployed and added to the application field. I'm just going to enter my container password and click Finish to create the project. new project was created and appears in the PHP Explorer on the left. I'm now going to paste some code in the index.php file. And launch the application from the deployment XML. Each Zen Developer Cloud container is provided with a database instance that can be used as backend storage for a PHP application. The database instance is fully compatible with MySQL 5.1 and you can create multiple tables within the one provided database. Now let's establish a connection with this database. In the Targets view, expand your target and double click Database Connection. Zen Studio establishes the connection and displays it in the Data Source Explorer. Now that I've established a connection with a database, I want to create a new table. To do this, I'm going to right click the connection in the Data Source Explorer and select Open SQL Scrapbook. In the Scrapbook's header, I'm going to configure the connection profile and insert some ready made code creating our table. Now I'm going to right click within the editor and select Execute All. Our results are displayed in the SQL results view. Now let's validate our connection with the Zen Developer Cloud database by adding a new entry in the newly created table. To view this new entry, we're going to expand the connection in the Data Source Explorer and locate our table. We're then going to right click it and select Data Edit. Thanks for taking the time to watch this tutorial. For more information on working with Zen Studio and Zen Developer Cloud, please refer to Zen's online product documentation at zen.com.